Hi, my name is Lydia Velasquez and I am a student in English 5420 Project Management and Technical Communication with Dr. Enfield. For this class, I've been a member of the Sexual Assault and Anti-Violence Information or SAVI cohort. And with that, I've worked on a project intended to be used by the office. In this presentation, I'll be providing an overview of my project the overview including the reasoning for the zine as choice of medium, the reasoning for the content of the zine, summary of my research for the project, and the final result of the zine. As defined in the book, What You Mean, What's a Zine? Zines are cheaply made printed forms of expression on any subject. They are like mini magazines or homemade comic books. Zines can range in size and binding style, most typically not being bigger than a postcard. They are also typically handmade, commonly through collaging and or handwriting text, and then scanning the master copy to make copies for distribution. Conventional university distributed material can often feel mass produced and impersonal. Zines are imperfect and personal making them ideal for covering any topic related to sex, as these topics are intimate and so are zines. Also, having a resource document that doesn't have a university stamp on it might make students more likely to engage with it, as it will feel more like a peer-to-peer -peer interaction rather than being spoken down to about a topic that is closely tied to student personal lives. For my project, rather than tackle sexual assault head-on, I wanted to cover a topic that is adjacent to it, something where education and open conversation regarding it could help decrease the potential for students to experience sexual assault. I decided on a zine that would be an informal resource regarding casual sexual intimacy, i.e. hookups. Hookup culture is prevalent on college campuses, and for many students, college may be where they become sexually active for the first time. By giving students basic information about how they can practice casual sex safely, they're able to keep themselves safe as well as be a resource to their friends. For my research, I primarily considered academic articles that discuss college campus hookup culture, the sort of social psychology surrounding it and its impact on college students. Academic articles that discuss zines as informative resources and methods for community building and empowerment, and zines that cover different topics regarding sex and sexuality. Something that greatly influenced the content of the zine is research finding that college students are not hooking up now more than any time prior in history. In fact, peer pressure students may feel that they're the only person not having sex is typically rooted in the expected culture of everyone having sex, even though they're not. To help deter students from hooking up for the wrong reasons and to reassure them of their sexual activity or lack of it, I made sure to reference this research in the zine. Zines made by and for sex workers were also a large inspiration for content specific to sex safety. As these zines are for individuals who have sex with different partners. They provide thorough explanations for how to prioritize physical and emotional health when having sex with multiple partners over time. In regards to zine design, I referenced other zines for layout design as well as considered basic design principles like proximity and contrast and visual variables to ensure the zine was visually appealing while still being easy to read and or skim through. The final result of it, all this work is You Up, a zine about hooking up and having fun. To make the zine accessible to as wide an audience as possible, it is available in two forms, print and digital. The print version is the size of a piece of printer paper and folded in a way so that it can fit in a back pocket. 
The size makes it easy to distribute or pass along to a friend or to keep on you. The digital version simulates the experience of flipping through a magazine and makes sharing easy if giving someone a physical booklet is intimidating or if individuals want something more discreet to have on hand, like a link rather than a physical booklet. The zine is broken down into four sections. One, the introduction, which gives an overview of what hookups are and what they can look like, an affirmation that not everyone is hooking up, and that the info in the zine is still good to have if you're not hooking up, as it is applicable to monogamous sexual relationships. Two, cool to care, which covers the importance of effective communication with a hookup partner and the importance of open conversation with friends about hookups. Three, safety first, which is a list of tips and advice for hooking up safely. And four, what's your deal? which addresses the importance of understanding personal reasons for hooking up and making mental and emotional health a priority. For the next cohort who takes on this project, possible iteration ideas are to make another zine, but next time around getting student input, possibly in the form of interviews or a survey, maybe even accepting student contributions to hold a community zine workshop event, providing materials for students to come and make their own zine about anything sex related or about their romantic and or sexual experiences in college. This encourages students to make something cathartic while also providing a place for community and relationship building. In conclusion, I am proud of the result of this project. Despite the limitations and roadblocks that I faced over the course of working on it, I'm proud of the zine and I hope that it can be a resource and conversation starter for students.